Hello everyone and a welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all good. In today's video, I have a Melody Susie acrylic review and we're also gonna use the colors to do a little bit of acrylic nail art as well. So I really hope you all enjoy watching. Now it has been a little while since I've uploaded. It was the school summer holidays here in the UK and it was just impossible to get editing and voiceovers done. So I was sent these two colors from Melody Susie a couple of weeks back, but I've only just got around to getting the editing and video voiceover side of the video done. So I have used Melody Susie acrylics before, but I've used their premix glitter acrylics, like a glitter flake. And I did have a small tub of their clear acrylic as well. But this was the first time trying their core range and the more opaque shades kind of thing. I have to say they were really lovely to work with. So I was kindly sent these two large two ounce tubs of acrylic. I think this is a brilliant size really for your core colors because they tend to be the color as you use the most. Now, as you can see, the two colors are a peachy nude, which is this one here. And then there is also kind of like a soft baby pink as well. I love the fact that they are larger tubs, but the one downside is they don't have, the, the pots don't have color names on them. They've just got a code on the bottom. And I know a lot of companies do this, but I do always prefer to have a name for my shade. Maybe that's just me, but most importantly, obviously it is how the product performs. And I have to say, I really liked the consistency of these acrylics. As you can see here, I applied this in two, three beads and there's no shadowing between the beads. There's no inconsistency in the product. It applied really nicely. And the same goes for this baby pink shade as well. You can see here, I was just showing you guys the ball that I'd picked up. Now I did pick this up a little bit on the dry side, which you would have seen when it was on my brush. So I dipped into my monomer just to let a little bit of monomer into that bead. Ideally, you don't wanna be doing this. You wanna be picking up with the right ratio when you pick your bead up. But I did struggle a little bit because I wasn't using the Melody Susie monomer. They sent me these two powders and because because I'd used them before, I did have some of their monomer, but not enough left to really use. So I just used a different brand monomer, but nevertheless, the colors still applied beautifully. So this is that opaque baby pink shade. Both these colors are quite opaque, but if you use them a little bit thinner and a little bit wetter, you can still blend nicely with them. So they're great for ombres as well. So I wanted to give the products a good feel. So I thought we would do some designs with them as well. So we're gonna start off with a simple glitter fade. And I do, we're gonna do three designs and then we are also gonna pop some stamping over them as well. Cause I thought it'd be nice to do a little bit of everything and kind of do a complete nail art look. So starting off, we're using that baby pink shade and I'm popping a small bead down at the cuticle area. And you can see here, this is where I've said, if you use it a little bit wetter, you can blend it out nicely. So here I've just used it on the more medium to wet side so that I can blend it down towards the tip of the nail because I don't want a full cover nail. I wanna leave that tip of the nail kind of clear. So we're gonna have the glitter going through and it's just a bit of a different effect. Obviously it depends on the look you're going for. I did add another small bead down at that cuticle cool and now bed area just to build up the color a little bit there and again you can see it's blending out effortlessly I'm not having to struggle to move the product just by using a light touch on my brush it feathers and blends out nicely then here is the little bit of clear acrylic that I had left from last time that I used a Melody Susie and I'm just using this I'm dipping into this picking up a small bead of that clear acrylic and then dipping into my raw glitter and applying my glitter down on to the tip of the nail and I'm just nudging those glitter pieces around just to get them to fully cover the tip of the nail and then we're going to blend them back over that baby pink shade shade just tapping on a little bit more glitter here and there where it's needed I don't want to add too much because we are going to have to encapsulate it and I don't want a super bulky tip but I liked how where we haven't taken that baby pink all the way down to the tip of the nail you're going to see some of the clear from the nail showing through and I kind of quite like that look if I'm doing a lighter shade of a uh, a lighter shade of glitter. Gosh, I'm really struggling to get my words out. You can tell that I haven't done too many voiceovers. So what I'm doing here is just tapping on little bits of glitter here and there, just using my wet brush. I'm not adding any additional acrylic. Then I did leave that to set because you want to allow that clear acrylic that you've applied your glitter with to fully set. So that then you're not gonna pull any of those glitter pieces around. And then we're gonna come in with the clear acrylic and encapsulate. Now I do find that this particular brand of acrylic works a bit better on the more medium to wet side and a lot of the time I personally prefer to work a little bit more on the dry side but it was 
fairly easy to still work with you've just sometimes got to adapt your ratio depending on the product you're using so i would highly recommend if you are switching between brands or trying different brands to just pick up a few beads and place them down on a paper towel just so you can get a feel for that product and crack the ratio before you go in and start doing nails with them so on to the second design we are going to use that nude color and this was my favorite of the two colors i do love a nude core color more over a pink lately especially for this time of year as well where we're going into autumn I feel like it's nice to have more of a nudey beige base so on this design I want to do a little bit of layered nail art so I'm starting off with quite a thin coat of this and as you can see where I've applied it thinner it does look a little bit more sheer so the product is quite versatile which is great especially when doing acrylic nail art because there are times when you are going to want a more opaque look and then there are times when you're going to want a bit more of a sheer look which is what I'm going to do here because I want to layer up this design so what I've done is I've placed my gold leaf down into that tacky nude acrylic and then I'm coming over the top with more of that nude acrylic keeping it nice and thin and keeping it fairly on the wet side so that it's not going to fully cover up those gold flake pieces but it's going to give us a little bit of depth to the now it's going to make those gold flake pieces look hidden in the acrylic so here and there I'm adding a little bit more until I'm happy with the look and as you can see I'm keeping those beads fairly small and fairly on the more wet side just so we don't add too much pigmentation because the drier you use the acrylic the more pigmentation you get coming through then on top of this I'm going to add a little bit of rose gold glitter because like I said I wanted there to be lots of depth and texture to this look so I'm going to pull out my rose gold glitter but rather than adding any acrylic to this I'm just going to pick this up with my wet brush and tap it down into the acrylic that we've just applied to the nail I did find that this was more of a slower setting acrylic system which again is not something that I'm used to using however it did have its advantages because things like this I didn't need to pick this glitter up with any more acrylic because that glitter the sorry that acrylic underneath wasn't set yet so i could just tap this in to that tacky acrylic and it's sufficient enough to hold that glitter in place until we come in and fully encapsulate the nails now another great thing about a slower setting acrylic is if you are a beginner it's a lot more beginner friendly because it means you've got more time to play with it and maneuver it around into place so here we're just fully encapsulating that nail just to make sure here that we're just building up that last bit of strength and structure. I didn't need to add too much of a thick layer because we are using core colors underneath. So we have already built up a lot of the structure of the nail. On to the third design, I'm gonna be using that baby pink shade along with the Melody CZ Clear and a little bit of chrome powder, pigment powder, whatever you'd like to call it to um create a on a create a marble i was gonna say ombre there i've completely forgot what we was doing because like i said i didn't record this a little while ago so i've dipped in to the pink shade into the clear and then i'm just dipping into that chrome and i'm just using that to pull through all three pull all three of those colors together to create a really loose marble and I really loved how this now looked I kind of didn't really know too much when you've just get given two plain colors I struggle anyway to think of nail art designs to do with it so that was why I added this pigment powder in sorry this chrome powder I think you'd call this more of a chrome powder <laughs> that's why I added this in to this design just to try and mix it up a little bit and to show you designs that you can do if you haven't got colored acrylic so as you can see we just swelled through those and then i did encapsulate that one off camera as well i did file and buff these off camera too and i did find that the acrylic filed beautifully as well it wasn't too hard obviously again brands will differ but this filed quite nicely so we're going to finish off with a little bit of stamping so on this first now over the glitter fade i thought we would add on a couple of multi-colored flowers i did do this video a couple of weeks back so it was more when we was kind of like in the height of summer even though the uk summer has been a bit of a funny one this year hasn't it like all throughout the school holidays most of the weather was quite gray and quite dull and then the kids go back to school and we get a heat wave so you, you just can't get more typical weather than that can you so this design did lean lean on to the summer sort of side a little bit but obviously if you want to recreate this look you could 
easily swap out the flowers for some leaves or even things like pumpkins. I love stamping over a glitter fade, especially when the glitter underneath is matte as well. I think it kind of gives off quite a nice effect. So you could easily swap out the flowers for a more autumn look, or you could even keep the flowers but use more autumn colors. So think yellows, burnt oranges, things like that would look quite nice over this design as well. But I just went for the blue, green and orange because it kind of suited the time of time of the month when I was doing this set of nails. So we're going to do stamping on all three of the nails. This one here was my favorite. This one does lean a little bit more into autumn, I feel as well. But I love how we've got that encapsulated gold leaf and glitter. We've got the nude coming through from the acrylic and then we're just gonna stamp on some little leaves over the top in the gold area. So you will still see some of that gold showing through but the, you get the layered look, which I really love in an acrylic design. So we're just gonna clean up here where I'd got a little bit of stamped image that I didn't want on the nail. And this is one of the great things about doing stamping over acrylic, you are able to just you've already got your matte surface from your acrylic so I haven't popped any top coat on I've just come straight in with my stamping over the acrylic so then if you make any mistakes you are able to wipe it off with a little bit of acetone without removing any of the product so it's a little bit different to when you're stamping over a gel polish and then I loved how this one looked. I'm definitely gonna use this nude acrylic a lot more. I feel like I'm gonna use the nude one a lot more than the pink one. So I'm thinking of maybe doing a set of nails on myself using the nude acrylic so we can get a bit more of a feel for it. This was kind of just a trying it out video. And I, like I said, I really enjoyed how the acrylics worked. I do have a discount code for Melody Susie. So I will leave that in the description box below and that gets you 12%, I believe, off the whole website. So you don't have to order acrylics. But I will leave the link and the discount code in the description box below in case you guys want to check it out. If you have anything particular you would like to see me do with the acrylics, then do let me know. Maybe a ratio video if you're using Melody Susie and struggling to crack the ratio, I could maybe do something like that. Or a full set on myself I'm thinking of doing because I really would like to see how the acrylic wears because it's all well and good doing a design with it and seeing how it applies. But of course we need to know how it wears and how it removes. So I will try and get around to doing those as well. I'm just playing catch up with getting some videos edited and voiced over before I start creating new ones. So lastly, I'm just going to come in and pop a layer of top coat over. And I really love this step as well because you can see that true color from the acrylic come back because obviously acrylic dries quite matte and then you file and buff it so it looks even more matte. So when you come in and apply your glossy top coat, it brings everything back to life. So that was the free designs. Let me know your favorite in the comments below and drop me a comment below. Let me know how your summer was. It'd be really good to catch up with you all. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Lots of love. Take care. Bye bye.